UTMB Health, working together to work wonders. The Jenny Seeley Hospital building that we just demolished, when looking at the plans for it, we knew that there had been a section of seawall under it that, that the contractor was told to remove. We dug down and, and didn't find it after that building was demolished. So we had a kind of a 50-50 um, opinion of whether it was there or not. And so today, we dug down and exposed one section, about a, a 20 foot long section. Well, you're looking at a part of the old seawall that was uh, built after the storm of 1900. And uh, they, they started this uh, in 1902 and finished around 1904. And uh, basically starts at 8th Street and the harbor and slants over towards 6th Street and then goes west to where the seawall is today. Back then, they really weren't sure whether to use, uh, you know, to, to uh, measure everything off of uh, sea level or low mean tide. So uh, <laughs> they thought they were, you know, 14 or 15 feet above sea level, but actually, you know, maybe they were uh, 13 or 14 feet. From what we understand, the, uh, this old seawall is about 17 feet high, uh, about 16 feet wide. And uh, what they did was they excavated down about three feet and they, uh, they, they drove big pine uh, wooden piers into the ground uh, for stability and uh, then they poured this uh, concrete over on top of it and they used uh, of course a granite topping on top of everything else just as a, uh, as a cap. And what they did, uh, kind of like what you see today on the seawall, you know, where they have the riprap in front of the seawall to kind of break the waves up, they did the same thing back then and they used uh, about four foot by four foot uh, size granite boulders for that. A lot of their construction methods are different then than they are today. And uh, the rebar is, is very interesting. It was uh, actually square back then. Well, 100 years ago, they didn't have the technology to roll uh, steel in a circle. And so uh, when they rolled it, when they heated it up and rolled it into its shape, it had to be a square um, coming through the rollers. So any old rebar you see that's 100 years old or more, it'll be uh, square. Well, most of the old seawall has already been demolished from previous buildings. And what you're seeing here is basically what's left. It was removed under the plaza back in 06, and it was removed under here in 1966 or so when they built Jenny. And uh, we're thinking there's probably about 100, 150 feet here. We're not real sure yet. Uh, but they're going uh, to keep most of it. What they're going to do is notch it uh, so we can build our transfer beams over it. The, the building's been designed for the foundations to span across it and everywhere else we'll take down as low as we need to to get the, uh, the new um, building built over the top of it. 